you know, why is that that we're sort of meeting this barrier on the amount we can educate them? It's because it's too fucking much. What I've kind of felt and learned over the years is that those cases where I really dig in and spend the time and talk to them and answer all their questions, it actually doesn't increase the amount of education that I can provide that individual uh, than the ones where it is the really fast ones. Boom, here it is, here's it is, here's your caregiver resource, this and this, change diet, ba da da. And so I was like, man, it just, you know, why is that that we're sort of meeting this barrier on the amount we can educate them? It's because it's too fucking much. Mm. Like the amount of information you provide in these really long consultations, these are not science people. Mm -hmm. These are not doctors, you know, and this had actually come up, Katie had heard on NPR where it was like, it was a doctor and actually on the human side, actually talking about informed consent. It's like, how far do you go with people that don't even know what a kidney is? Yeah. You know, so what's, yeah. so where is it? Where is that happy medium? And that's, I guess the whole point of me saying this is just trying to find these expedite, you know, techniques and saying, how do we, how do I, how do I actually adapt into moving a lot of these major medicals along in a timely fashion? Cause you'll even have these hospitalized patients. You, you've said it before, like this one just needs the Riolo touch, you know? And it's like, <laughs> they just need you to talk to them. And I'm like, okay. Like, I don't, I don't know what that is or how I can teach you to have the Riolo touch, but I just know that usually when I go into these consults, they're like, oh, okay. And I know I didn't say anything different than anyone before me, yeah. but sometimes I wonder if it's a matter of just, you know, being like incredibly direct. And mm -hmm. I think it's, I think it's just what the kids say these days, the full send, mm -hmm. you know? So for me, I'm just more willing to be like, let's just commit to what that is. I'm just going to commit to the most probable, um, and that's actually why I think Rhiannon, um, you know, when I start to look at the other doctors I've worked with over the years and uh, certainly Dr. Potter coming on, I was actually really intrigued to see Dr. Potter coming on because I wanted to see how her deep personality functioned in an environment where like you just have to make a decision. Um, that's actually what I think uh, is an attribute that you have in order to be successful in nights. And you, I don't know if you know whether or not you have it, but it's a matter of just being like, here's the variables. I'm just going to commit to what this is and we're just going to move forward with it because I don't actually have any other option but I'm also super comfortable doing it because those two things don't go together it's not well th I don't have any other option than just doing a full commitment on this but I'm just gonna you know be really anxious about whether that was the right move it was like nope the variables we had at that time it was really the only decision that could be made and we went with it and then we're gonna learn from it either they were right or I was right or whatever it is but that that level of um, I don't and I think it, at least in some capacity has to be confidence it has to be you know I think for us uh, when we are in that sort of setting where there's, you know, really isn't anyone else to help, no one else to collaborate with, nowhere to send these patients, limited diagnostics, we have, you know, ang you know, we have the emotions to deal with from caregivers, whatever it is, you have all of those things to juggle, and then it's just a full send. And then it's just like, yep, yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's what's happening. Thanks for checking out this clip from the podcast, Veterinary Podcast. If you are interested in watching this full episode, you can go ahead and find that right here. And if you're ready to be the force of change in veterinary medicine, go ahead and click subscribe right here to learn more. Thanks.